afternoon, I'm Rick, this is Jacob, with Sage Grill in Encinitas. Um, Can I have a contest? Okay, let's have right. a contest. We need a, we need a name for her. And Wine Talk sucks. Wine Talk? Wine Talk, that sucks. Yeah. So we need a, we need a name. So whoever can give us a name, we'll give you a bottle of wine, a name that we use. Okay, there's a little contest for the kid of you to watch the video. Alright. <laughs> Anyway, um, today we're going to taste uh, Fleur, French for flour, uh, winery. They're actually owned by the Mahoney family out of Caneros, and we're going to do their Chardonnay and their Pinot today. Uh, the Chardonnay is a North Coast Appalachian, and it's what vintage? It's an 08 vintage. 08. So, um, the the Pinot is all Caneros fruit, and that's on the Napa side of Caneros. For those of you who don't know, Caneros kind of splits Noma and Napa, so you can have some Noma Caneros or Napa Caneros. And some wineries actually are both, um, so it goes right through their property. But uh, anyway, this is the Napa side of Caneros, and that's where the winery is. Well, the nose is kind of, the namesake, Fleur, floral nose. Some good, shiny, bright fruit. Yeah, definitely smell some oak and butter in, in there. The apricot. Yeah. I believe they try to be a little more on the Burgundian side. I haven't tasted the Pinot yet, but... Well, it's got some acid. It's not... Um, for the last two weeks, what did we do? Gelato Chardonnay, which was very Burgundian, very acidic. And then last week we did... Uh, Beauregard, Beauregard is completely the awesome. opposite, and so this fits kind of in the middle. Yeah. Um, it's got some floral notes to it, a little bit of fruit to it, also some oak, but it has some acid on the finish. Yeah, it's really well balanced. Um, some lemon, definitely some citrus acid. It's a good wine. Yeah. For fourteen dollars, we're selling it. Fourteen bucks. Can't really do that. We say that every time. Well, we have we buy good wine. Yeah, good price. That's basically what happens. This is uh, new to our list as well. Yeah, it's not even on the list yet. Yeah, we just got it in last week. Two days ago. Two days ago? Tuesday. Well, to me it was last week because I had the day off this week. Definitely Camaro Sprout. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get, um, as you taste more and more, you know, we're talking about good deals. Jake and I taste hundreds of wines a week. Um, and so you start to recognize... Tough job. Yeah, it really is. So you, but you start to recognize certain traits that, uh, like Canaro's Pinot, you really start to recognize what a Pinot from Canaro's will smell like. And, uh, and same thing with Alexander Valley, whether it's Cab or Pinot. Um, and, and Alexander always jumps out on the palate, the chalkiness usually right. jumps out on the palate. Uh, you start to recognize the smell of different types of oak Used, whether it's American, Hungarian, or French. Um, if it's new oak, if it's you know neutral oak. And there's all these terms. You start to you start to pick these up on your on on the nose and on the palate. And so when we say oh that smells like Carol's fruit, it's because we taste hundreds of wines a week. Right? I, before Jay got here, I think I would I think I tasted 25 wines just this morning. So I mean it's it's a tough job, but, but somebody has to do it. So, um, Ken Foster, winemaker, he was with uh, David Bruce for a long time, um, specializes in Pinot Noir. Yeah, that's um, made his name on. Yeah. And this is another really well-balanced Pinot Noir. Right. And it's leaner. It is a little leaner. Yeah. Than um, we usually see from the It's got a little bit of like, white pepper, pepper in it. Two great wines. Uh, they're now in here. I don't think they're much so, um, in the retail. Eighteen. Eighteen bucks? bucks. Fourteen and eighteen. For Carneros Pinot Noir. For Carneros Pinot, I don't. With the reputable winemaker. Yeah, it's, it's a good. Pretty deal. awesome deal. Uh, I think the Mahoney's opened up in '72 or built their winery in '72. So, but I think they're um, they're originally from France. Right. Yep. So, um, you know, he worked in France his whole life. Kind of tried to bring French style wines more. 
burgundy style wines. And he is. In California. And he is. I think that um, we tasted some of the Mahoney grapes uh, that are under the Mahoney label, um, which uh, are a little bit higher end. This yeah, is their entry level. Their entry level second label. Right. It's good quality, good quality juices. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Don't forget to follow us at sagefield.com. Uh, where else? Facebook.com slash sagegrill and Twitter.com slash sagegrill. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.